Hey YouTube, it's Bethany here again for another TTC update. Um, I know I said that I was going to do another update like halfway through my um, first Clomid cycle, but like to just update on symptoms and, and you know things that I'm feeling and stuff that's going on. But lucky for me, I really didn't have any symptoms hardly at all. Um, and I didn't even get any symptoms until yesterday. Um, I finished my Today's Sunday. I'm just having a lazy day downstairs in the basement, <laughs> hanging out on the sectional and watching Breaking Bad on TV on Netflix. Anyway, um, today's Sunday, and I finished my, I took my last pill of Clomid on Thursday night. So, I didn't even have any symptoms until yesterday, and I've only had one symptom so far. Um, I, and I, I, I'm assuming it was a symptom. I don't know if it was related or not, or if it was, I don't know. I, we went over to my mom's house, my parents' house yesterday, and on the car ride over there, like, I just got super hot. So, I don't know if that was, like, a hot flash, or it just was a coincidence, but I'm assuming that that was, like, I can attribute that to the Clomid. Um, so, other than that, I have had no headaches, I have had nothing else. Oh, one other thing. Last night, I was sitting down here, and it felt like my right ovary was, like, I had a sh very sharp pain. So, I don't know if, what the deal was with that, because I'm not supposed to ovulate for another few days. Um, yeah, other than, other than that, like, I've been really, really lucky, I think, because I've read people have horrible headaches and just nausea, just crazy, sim like, bad symptoms, or side effects, I mean, from, from the Clomid, but other than that, I mean, I've been very lucky, I mean, I'm hoping that it's working, I go on Tuesday for my ultrasound to see if, like, to just check and see how my ovaries have, are responding and see how many eggs I should release, I'm only assuming that there's going to be one, because I took it, um, cycle days five through nine, so I guess usually whenever you take it those days, um, you only have like one, like very mature egg will get will release. I guess we'll see um, on Tuesday afternoon. So my husband is still very hopeful uh, that it will work this first time. I'm not so sure. I'm assuming that it's going to take another couple of cycles. Um, like I said in my last, uh, TTC vlog, we have, like, whenever we got married in June of 2010, so almost three years ago, like, on our honeymoon, I stopped taking my birth control. We weren't trying, we were just, I just didn't like the way that birth control made me feel personally, and so I stopped taking it. We were just doing the pull-out method or whatever you want to call it and things were fine with that and that was the first year well the second year in 2011 we were kind of just like okay well we weren't trying we weren't really preventing at all we just seeing what would happen and I did get pregnant once in July of 2011 um, unfortunately that resulted in a miscarriage I didn't have to have a DNC or anything like that um, it was just Ugh, my hair looks horrible today, sorry. Um, yeah, I didn't have to have a DNC or anything like that. I just passed, I just miscarried it by myself. And it was horrible. So then after that, we took like several months off. It took me a while to get over that mentally, like to just grieve and move past it. And I didn't feel comfortable trying again for a while. So then we eased back into it. And then we have been going like full force, like TTC hardcore since like March ish of last year so but given all my history and everything my doctor my OBGYN is considering when we got married which was 2010 to be our start date since I wasn't on any birth control at all then and he said that the the normal couple if they were not um not on any kind of birth control or preventing in any way other than pulling out. The normal couple would have obviously conceived more than one time like we did in the last three years. So he's considering that to be the time that we started trying. 
So that's why, I don't know. Anyway, and, oh, another thing that I need to talk, I just went off on a tangent, sorry. <laughs> I'm already at five minutes, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. I just wanted to go over my husband's, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I have my iPad right here. My husband's sperm analysis came back, and it was very good, and I want to brag on him a little bit, because, you know, he has control over that. Um, the nurse was even impressed. <laughs> so, his numbers were as follows. He was already nervous, he said. Luckily, we live within an hour away, only like 20 minutes away from the clinic, so he was able to do the sample here at the house and then take it to the clinic. So, but he was still really nervous, I guess. Like, he was just, obviously that's not, my husband's very, like, introverted as it is. And uh, that was just not something he felt, felt very comfortable doing to begin with. So, he said he was very nervous as it was. And he didn't do his normal amount because he was so nervous. So, I was, I was already a little bit upset because it wasn't, his, like I said, it wasn't his normal amount. So, I was like, crap. I guess we'll just see what happens. But the numbers came back and they were awesome. Um, it was, he had 196 million per milliliter. And the nurse said that anything over 20 million was good. And he's at 196. 196. Um, his motil the motility was 69%. The morphology was 17%. And of his sample, he had the sample that he that he deposited was 406 million total in the sample so he's not the problem at all like they he's obviously perfect in every, in every way and beyond perfect so um anyway that says love it's it, I think it's from where I have, I'm on my iPhone right now so I have the camera reversed I don't know why it looks reversed like that it's kinda funny um so that was good, really good news to get his results back and have them be so good. Um, and yeah, I guess we're just waiting until Tuesday to go and get my ultrasound and see what happens. I'll definitely do another video on Tuesday after my doctor's appointment and let you know how my ultrasound went and see how many eggs I have. I'm really, really, really hoping for twins. I don't know why. I just, I've had this, my mom and I both, like we have this gut feeling that I'm just going to have twins. Like that's just what we do, like what we believe. Um, my husband is not so excited for twins. He's actually scared shitless, <laughs> sorry, of twins. But I guess we'll just see. I mean, I don't know till anything till Tuesday. But obviously, we will be over the moon with, with one. Like, I don't care. As long as I have one healthy baby, like, I just, that's all I whatever want or need. I mean, I'm just so excited and hopeful for that. And hopefully, I'm really hoping that we conceive this this cycle because if I was looking at it and if I conceive this cycle, um, my due date will be the end of November. So like right around Thanksgiving. So my husband's already been calling it like a little or a little turkey, a little turkey bacon in the oven. So I think that would be really cute to get little turkey onesies and stuff. So, I'm very, very hopeful that we can see this first cycle of Clomid. I mean, it's been a long road. And I'm just hoping that this is the end of it. So, alright, well, that's it for today. Sorry I rambled on for like nine minutes. But, like I said, I'll do another update on Tuesday after my ultrasound. And, yeah. Um, I'm, I've gotten a few more subscribers. So, thank you so much for subscribing. I wanna, I'm want i trying to get more. So, if you like the video, like it. And, subscribe and let me know what other kind of videos you want to see because I, I posted a um, um uh, my daily makeup routine video and nobody really seemed to care about that one that much so let me know what all kind of stuff you want me to do because I enjoy, I'm enjoying doing these videos so all right well thanks again guys I'll talk to you next time bye